A very good afternoon to one and all. Greetings from St. Anne's College of Engineering and Technology. The Department of Mechanical Engineering and Mechanical Engineering Students Association cordially invites you to the five days international webinar series, J3. On behalf of the management and all the participants here, I extend a warm welcome to the resource person, respected Dr. Giriraj Manayi, Associate Professor, Department of Design and Automation, School of Mechanical Engineering, VIT Vedu. I hope his knowledge will enrich the participants. Welcome you, sir. Yes, thank you. I offer a special note of welcome to our secretary, Reverend Sister Dr. A. Sitangam, and Principal Dr. Aruki Das. I extend the special welcome to all the participants, the ones who have to be appreciated most in this event. Today's interesting topic is Industry 4.0 or Fourth Industry Revolution is the combination of cyber physical systems, IoT, and Internet of Systems to create smart factory where machines connected with the internet. Third industry revolution came with electronic IT systems and automation. Second industry revolution revolved around mass production and electricity. First industry revolution came with the advent of mechanization, steam power, and water power. Now, I would like to introduce our resource person with this professional profile. Dr. Giraj Manayi had six years of industrial experience and 15 years of teaching experience. He has published more than 20 journals and participated and presented more than 20 international conferences and acted as resource person in so many workshops and seminars organized by various engineering colleges. Respected sir, the floor is now open to you. Can you take over the session? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, welcome to all. And today we are going to present or we are going to discuss about Industry 4.0. There will be some sort of stages of applicable. Under this first revolution, or we can say that first uh, first 1.0, we will be taken upon that moment. That moment they will be utilizing about the mechanization, or we are going to utilize about the power is coming under water power or steam power. You place that is the role of the 1.0. And 2.0, we are going to use about the mass production or batch production like that. They we are going to use about the assembly line here. Most probably we are going to utilize about the electricity. So electricity is a power source based on that one you are going to automate some of the things maybe you are going to take an account of uh, asr system automatic storage retrieval system like that will be taken account and you'll be in the we are, we are going to operate about the device level of the automation small kind of things pick and place like that will be taken account by using the pick and place here we are going to use about the electricity as a power and third one is we are going to incorporate about the computer into the automation so that level will be called as 3.0 or 3.0 like the way 
so here we are going to automation point of view we are going to incorporate with number of the areas we are going to incorporate with the computers and uh, whereas will be required about the calculations and another one is precision movement will be required and another one is uh, ro routinely or um, what we call it as repetitive jobs will be taken up on means then we are going to use about the computer that's why there will be the picture itself shown about the robot as a picture like that way so here we are going to use about the computerized numerical control machines cnc machines dnc machines like that we will be having that is the third generation and fourth generation or 4.0 we are going to talk about the cyber physical system so here about the cyber physical system means what it meant they'll be in the you know, plan for area they'll be segregated on the number of zones probably when the device level of the automation and second uh, they'll be in the various levels are automations are available depends upon the industry they'll be segregated on the or attempt to the levels so they'll be having the, uh, the totally will be the five levels of the levels of automations available first one is device level of the automation second level will be called as a machine level of the automation third one is cell level automation fourth one is plant level of the automation and finally will be on the erp level of the automation so here 4.0 industry 4.0 or 4.0 will be called we are going to take an account of the fifth level of the automation like that way so here fifth level of the automation we are going to take an account of facility system in our plant floor area there will be on the some of the system so we will be on the cnc machines dnc machines something like that will be having according to these are the machineries we will be called as the facilities so plant floor area operations here will be on the plant floor area operations along with we are going to connect it with the business processing of the system bps so or we will be called as bps or always will be called as enterprises of the system so here we level of the systems you are going to implement that one so it tightly coupled with this system then we are going to attempt to the number of the lorries will be come to the picture or we are going to drastically reduce about the production cycle as well as consumption cycle be very positive manner supply chain management will be good manner or according to the plant floor management will be very easy manner and visibility more or uh, it will be increased according to the plant floor operations is visibility will be increased so these are the introduction about the industry 4.0 where we are going to stand and one side what we have done here we are going to keep on increasing about the visibility or we are going to incorporate with the smart sensor smart actuators smart panels or will be called as hmi panel human machine interface or mmi man machine interface these are the things you are going to realize one side you are going to investment is a lot a uh, lot of the investments will be having against what are the threshold will be come to picture or what is the threshold will be having or others will be called it as what are the attack will be come to picture anyway we are going to put it these are the devices into the network forum so network forum or otherwise we are going to connect it to the computing facilities then then what are the computing system uh, facing the attack in terms of the intruders hackers something will be happening the same thing happening in our plant floor operation also in order to avoid that one we are going to put it into some sort of the firewalls you are going to create or segmentation of the system will be required segmentation segmentation of the system means you are going to uh, take an account of plan for area machines so there will be the one group and another one is second one is uh, business group of the system or enterprise of the system there will be in the second group in between they will be put into the firewalls like that they can introduce about the safety programs like that they we are going to introduce some of the hardware level hardware monitoring like that will be having so we are going to reduce about the attacks and apart from that we are going to reduce much more than that means we are going to introduce about some sort of the computing facility algorithms we are going to place or i class of the algorithms are we are going to place like uh, blow fish algorithm or cypher text ash kind of the algorithms are we are going to place and we are going to save for the machineries so here we are going to talk about about the industry 4.0 and uh, so industry 4.0 and these are the various stages are available once again i'm going to take an account of the one minute uh, first revolution or 1.4 they will develop the mechanization by using the water power steam power like that way second revolution will be coming to the picture of mass production so mass production means or will be called it as continuous production so like uh, paper production uh, then cement production sugar manufacturing industry so like that will be the mass production assembly line will be having the best type of the production or discrete type of the production are available here most probably you are going to replace about the high grade energy we will be called as electricity like that way and third one is you are going to incorporate about the computers by access the mechanism or you are going to develop the some sort of the mes devices manufacturing execution devices like that we are going to develop that is the third generation so here we are going to some extent we are going to automate what are things we are having maybe you are going to calculate about the mrp1 mrp2 cap like that way so mrp1 material recommend planning mrp2 is coming under material resource planning see a cap computer aided process planning like that way you are going to calculate by means of the computer and automation so either you are going to process you are going to control ics ics means industrial control system you are going to control that particular system through computing system so our, that particular logical statements controlled by the program kind of things that is the third revolution fourth one is we are going to interconnect of the machineries 
so man machine interface or machine to machine communication will be established that's why picture shows about the wifi kind of things number of the protocols are we are going to utilize through the this kind of things will be happening these are the introduction part about the uh, uh, industry 4.0 where we are going to stand like the day so here by industry 4.0 there will be the fourth industrial revolution encompasses or it will be combination of traditional manufacturing process along with along with industrial platforms so you'll be the traditional manufacturing process means what it been traditionally you are going to calculate something either you are going to industrial industrial engineering point of view or industrial engineering point of view or otherwise will be called as a some sort of a production kind of a production economics point of view will be called like something and you are going to prepare something pre planning planning scheduling routing dispatching and controlling of the algorithm will be done through the uh, ma traditional manufacturing process at the same time we are going to provide the industrial platform and talk pieces professor What's we the, need a slow right? presentation okay okay anyway try to reduce will be like the content will be very heavy so yeah, okay, no problem brother okay in chat here, box in the, uh, participants uh, okay. ask the question oh fine so here industrial platform means what will be man what are the regular process available accordingly you are going to manage along with your competing facility also you are going to increase so that is the role of the latest smart technology also you are going to incorporate may there be on the communication protocols or uh, we can say that security protocols or we can take an account of the uh, hms human machine interface kind of things are possible anyway further there been so many slides are available so by diagrammatically able to understand so this is the role of the industry 4.0 so it is com a combination or synergistic combination of traditional manufacturing process along with the industrial platform if this practice is coming to the smart technology purposes you are going to convert or this is a called as a smart manufacturing like that day so here when what are the focuses begin that so mainly you are going to focus about the large scale machine so large scale of the industry are oems oem original equipment manufacturers focus about the machine to machine communication or plenty of the data so per day we are going to run the shift or we can take an account of medium scale of the industry we are going to tightly couple of the system or erp level of the automation we are going to implement means so per hour we will be taken account of the 1 tb of the data or 2b 2 tb of the data will be having so that kind of the tb of the data what will be happen we are once you are going to production will be getting over that kind of the data will be uh, uh, unusefulness maybe will be on the 95 percentage of the data it's not useful for us but at the time of the production this kind of the volume of the data will be required so that's why we are going to take a look at that they are due to this particular data only you are going to create about the visibility we are going to increase about the visibility about the plant floor area operation so that's why this is called as a primarily focus of the large scale machine machine to machine communication we are going to engagement of the machine to machine communication that is simply we will call as im to m apart from that we are going to take a look at the iiot kind of things industrial internet of the things we are going to deploy so Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've tried to reduce. So here, when the IIoT techniques we are going to deployment and we are going to increase the automation and improve the communication and self monitoring is possible and controlling strategy also. It's very easy manner will be taken account. For example, will be taken account of will be on the three plants. Uh, one of the company available, X company available. That X company there will be three locations are available. So then day to day life, what will be there will be achieve about the production target. and what will happen we are going to think of what is happening what is happening in our plant floor area doesn't aware of the managers so then through the it landscape work will be having means that visibility we are going to keep on increasing apart from that their company they will be on the three uh, three or four major locations are available for one of the company or one of the industry will be having chennai and another plant will be having pune and another plant will be having kolkata like that they means we don't know about the process and here will be these three plants you are going to connect it with the it landscape work and be able to see that one what will be happen what is the production date what are the what are the supply will be required for the one plant to another plant like that will be and these are the interactions will be required so that is the load of may, may, that is the role of konja pinadi vaanga face clear ah theriyala screen la okay ah uh, okay bro unna konja camera okay amukku vidunga ah uh, so, uh, now is ah uh, okay bro so okay bro sir we have m to m communication like that apart from that there will be industrial internet of things we have to take a call these are the main focus of the so then next one is here we having other term or other terminologies we are going to replace about the industry 4.0 here what is happen one is in the industrial internet and connected enterprise system so geographically located at the various levels and it will be connected with the, through the it landscape so through the it landscape means what it mean you are going to implement about the oracle system or sap system system automation products and data warehousing we are going to install it and we are going to control that one and apart from that smart manufacturing so execution either you are going to uh, load the raw material 
and end of the stage will be getting the finished product intermediate stages what will be happen at that particular milestone of the activities you are going to monitor by the management people or line supervisor or team leader like they this are all of the smart manufacturing so you have to understand what is the target that machine itself uh, known well very well about the target what is the today today's target what is the batch processing of the system will be required so this level of the tightly coupled of the systems are available that is the role of the smart manufacturing smart factory then manufacturing 4.0 internet of the everything internet of things are for manufacturing these are the other terms you are going to utilize about the industry 4.4 so most of the things so these are the terminology indicated about the 4.0 only and next one is here by the major components what are the components are involved about the 4.0 there will be the cps cyber physical system second one is iot third one is on demand availability of the computer system resources fourth one is cognitive computing so these are the components are available with the uh, industry 4.0 okay cyber physical system what is the role of the cyber physical system able to incorporate with the it role are ready to uh, ready to install about this some program and execution is possible and it will be create about the middle layer of operation also that is the role of the cyber physical system and second one is iot internet of things so in your in your system they, why will be called as a cyber physical system they will be the stand alone system they will be ready to connect with the uh, they will be ready to connect with our networking system that is the role of the cyber physical system normally cnc lathe will be taken account that cnc lathe will be the physical system but these are the cnc lathe we are going to communicate with the another machine another cnc machine or drilling machine or we are going to connect it with the dnc kind of the layout is possible means that is the role of the cyber physical system here we are going to install about this some sort of the sensor temperature sensor then coolant sensor some other things we are going to incorporate with the machineries and we are going to take down the data or we are going to monitor we are going to install about the some vibration parameter vibration sensor like that way so we are going to incorporate to the some of the sensors from that we are going to acquire the data from that one for the future references purposes so this is called as a internet of things so we are going to connect that we are going to install about the instrumentation devices like sensor transducer some other things will be happening or we blindly we can say that data acquisition system we are going to connect with the machineries that particular machinery able to or capable to the transfer the data from the net point of view network point of view means that is the role of the yeah. iot and all the comments okay. coming to what? request all yeah, the yeah. comments coming to request you please reduce speed make the yeah, presentation yeah. slow fine fine anyway i'm going to try to reduce this is a normal practice for me anyway i'm going to try to reduce so third okay. one is on demand availability of computer system resources on demand availability means what will happen according to the system what's the requirement for today's schedule so they will be the normally according to the industry perspective view they will be the four or five major roles are available according to the plant floor operation i am going to clearly specify according to the plant floor operation they will be having four or five major major problem or we are going to face that one one is pre planning planning scheduling routing dispatching and controlling so these are the activities with the core agenda for the production department so then here we having on demand availability we are, as a plant manager well known what is the demand what are the things you are going to produce what is the today's schedule what is the things i am going to produce i am going to i i am well known about that one means then i am going to reduce the speed or increase the speed or we are going to sum up we are going to operate about simply we are going to call it as i am going to operate about the one shift or two shift like that day so depends upon the target i'll be required what is the demand so based on the demand i am going to produce a component or commodity we are going to produce so then here what what we are going to input for us according to the computer system resources cap computer aided process planning then another one is mrp material requirement planning mrp2 material resource planning so these are the things will be happening in our art core area of the production department so these are the details where we collect where i am going to collect so we are, uh, how you are going to connect the system by using the business processing system or enterprises of the system will be required so then we are going to tightly coupled these two devices or two systems what is the first one is business processing system business processing system well known about the demand what is the demand like that way based on the demand we are going to schedule it so when you are going to produce this one uh, industry means there will be so much of the variances are available so for example i don't want to quote any of the car company but you will be taken about x car company like that way they will be produce about the number of the variances for example for example will be taken account of one of, uh, one of the car say we can say that openly i can say that hyundai will be taken account so they will be on the producing about the i10 i20 i30 like the i30 going to launch 
so like this there are so many variants are available and what is the demand available we are going to calculate what is the i10 of the demand and what is the i20 demand like that way so based on the demand i am going to operate about the plant floor operations so likewise we are going to take an account of the demand availability accordingly procurement cycle will be operate and based on the procurement cycle then production cycles will be operate so these are the cycles in indicates about the so many steps so production cycle it is involved about the five major stepping stone of the activity will be having one is pre planning planning scheduling routing dispatching and controlling scheduling also will be the three major categories are available master schedule part schedule machine loading and loading schedules are possible so likewise these are the system we are going to interface we here by the industrial engineering concepts so these are the things will be required but how you are going to realization of the factor will be come under the picture according to the plant floor area or how you are going to compromise with the or how you are going to obtainability will be having industry 4.0 so then we are going to adaptability of the adaptability about the adaptability about the some components uh, sensor or devices then another one is we are going to take an account of the erp level of the packages then we are going to meet the criteria for the third thing that is a major components like the way so on demand availability of the computer system resources what kind of the landscape will be required and how we are going to tightly couple of the system like the way and fourth one is cognitive computing cognitive computing means we are going to realization of the factor or we are going to incorporate it about the knowledge so if you when the x actions will be come to the picture means what happened or why so if you when the demand will be on the 500 component how we are going to operate if you when the demand will be on the 1000 what will be happened so likewise we are going to take an account of the cognitive kind of things will be taken account so likewise and another one is what are the drivers will be having so here according to the industry 4.0 various drivers are available under this these three drivers are very very important digitalization digitalization and integration of the vertical horizontal value of the chain so vertical means what it when you are going to devices already i was uh, whenever i'm going to start this session i was given the statement so device level automation second one is machine level automation third one is cell level automation fourth one is plant level automation fifth one is erp level of the automation you like this you are going to connect the de devices means that is the vertical integration horizontal value of the chains means you are going to focus about the only one thing so either you are going to concentrate with device level or uh, we can say that plant level whatever it may be so this is the role of the horizontal value of the chains and second one is product and services offering so product and services offering means what will happen here we are going to combine with the two systems like enterprise system and another is facilities floor of the systems we will be mingled together and we are going to make it up the laurels of the industry or oem so third one is digital business models and customer access so nowadays you know very well about the uh, what is the level of the design components are available what is the design stages are available so design stages from need from the need to deployment of the cycle but nowadays what will happen that design criteria we are going to include the another term will be called as user centric design so user centric design or fcd process human centric design like that way so initial olden days what will happen they will be ready to take about the projects so industry they will be decide what kind of the component they will be produced and what kind of the market demand available but now what will happen customer end so we are going to focus about the customer end what they will be required what the their choices given so like that will be taken account so in normal design process will be having their need to deployment of the product in between there will be some of the stages we are going to develop the prototype we are going to test it and we are going to connect about the pilot production then we are going to deployment of the product and there will be the cycle there will be the plm cycles are available so product life cycle management cycles are available but here according to the industry 4.0 what will be happen here introduced another one human centric design process or user centric design process like that way so first design stage itself they will be required about the some sort of the input to, from the customer side or expertise so whether whether what are the components you are going to produce either you are going to use about the industrial goods or consumer products so there will be some of the techniques are available they will be the taken account at this particular stage able to understand there will be the design process normal cycles are available either spiral model or waterfall model like that will be taken account or star model of the design process are available along with according to the industry 4.0 we will be coming to the picture means we are going to add another one is ucd you are going to take an account user centric design or human setting design process will be taken account and next one is what is the trends or what are the trends begin that so suppose you are going to introduce about the industry 4.0 then we are going to convert into the smart factory what is the meaning of the smart so without touching of the equipment i am going to see that one what is the what is happening in our plant floor area i'll be somewhere 
I am act as a plant manager. I will be somewhere, but I know the status of the factory. What happened like that day? But how you are going to convert? You are going to incorporate what the number of the devices? Or you are going to interconnect of the mechanisms will be required. Interconnect communication protocols will be required. So likewise, will be you know one component that is the biggest trends goes onto the industry 4.0. There will be the biggest trend and analyst lot of potentials are available. You are going to convert into this smart factory. They we are going to talk about number of the levels, but uh, according to the national standards, what will be done? According to the national standards, we are going to achieve only 2.5 scenario only. We are going to talk about the industry 4.0 or industry X or we can say that uh, 5G something like that day. But as of we are going to take an account of uh, TPMS that is a Toyota Production Motor System or TP. That is a Toyota production system. Toyota production system or port system will be taken account. They also achieve about the only industry 3.0 only achieved, but it's not at all coming to be the 4.0. And uh, US, they will be the one of the apparel company, they will be put into the 4.0, the complete automation. So they will be upload about the raw material and finally we will be getting the finished product. We don't have any uh, we don't have any intermediate operations. So they will be visit the company one once in a 15 days. We can think of so once in a 15 days only few employees will be turned up so that kind of the strong relationship available between the machineries and operators or hmi human machine interface are available you can think of you're going to completely lock the factory 15 days and continuous production will come into the picture so if, uh, just like that what happening in our system just you're going to view that one after 15 days or 16 days like that way so that is the role of that kind of the tightly coupled schedules are available according to the smart factory then predictive maintenance so what is the role of the predictive maintenance? Why the I didn't point about the plan maintenance, schedule maintenance, and breakdown maintenance? So here, according to the industry 4.0, will be required about the predictive maintenance. Something will be happening, or it goes something wrong, or it will be trigger about the some malfunction of the system and be able to identify. So after one hour, that particular machine goes to failure condition, or your process going to the out of scope. So tool monitoring, either according to the most of the people, you will be taken account of the mechanical engineering this course. So then what will be happen? We are going to identify the tool management. So tool level, what will be happen when they will be worn out to be coming to the picture? If will be having the excessive vibration available or bearing life, we are going to monitor coolant, then oil temperature. So like that day, so machine status, we are going to update. So then and there we are going to update the machine status, predict about the our malfunctions. So uh, like that day, there will be another level. There is a predictive maintenance. These are all of these are the two biggest trends goes on to the industry 4.0. Then what are the different about the challenges available? We are going to implement in our 4.0 in our industry. Then what are the challenges will be applicable? Economic side, social, political, and organizational or internal kind of the things are happening. So economic means in simply we are going to invest in a lot of money in our industry. Why? Because we are going to convert all the machineries, we are going to convert into the highly sophisticated machineries, or we are going to procure about the special purpose machines, then normally your budgetary will be increased. Then social means what will happen? So maybe you'll be on the positive thoughts will be coming to the picture. So OEM will be getting the order from the some tier one, tier two uh, relationship uh, will be good manner. So that's the social. Political means what will happen? There will be the pressure onto that band according to the standards. What kind of security level you are going to maintain that band? And uh, these are the slightly will be coming to the picture of the security level or impact will be coming to the picture of the political like that way. And fourth one is organizational or internal. Maybe we will be on the relationship between the stakeholders of the operation, shareholders of the operation will be different manner. So that is the role of the challenges you are going to face. And here, having, here this particular slide shows about the information value map. So value drivers, so magnitude function, security, reliability, accuracy will be required, latency, timeline, timeliness. So these are the parameters will be on the value drives. You are going to increase. So what will happen drastically reduce about the design cycle. We are going to incorporate with the industry 4.4 means we will be getting the lot of advantages begin that. So magnitude, scope, scale, frequency of the development of the product will be very good manner. Risk, there, what are the risks you are going to face in, uh, in terms of the security? So easily hackable aware of the system or whether it will be on the internal hacking or external hacking is possible that security will be on the one of the biggest concern for us. Reliability of the machineries. If will be on the any machines goes down, then what will happen? We are going to put into the standardized service people will be required. So that is the reliability functions will be another hectic. And it depends upon the security level also, then the reliability functions goes down. And another one is accuracy parameter. In terms of the if will be goes wrong or something will be went wrong, means that accuracy parameter according to the static and dynamic characteristics. Be sir, sorry for disturbing you. We are not yeah. able to follow you. So it is too much of fast. Oh.
uh, further i am going to reduce so okay. here when the time then when the latency and time uh, timeliness available so outer periphery what are the things will be having technologies we are going to incorporate with the number of the technologies begin that sensors network standards augmented intelligence augmented behavior like the day so augmented intelligence means you are going to take in account of the fruitful results only you are going to take in a back so in our industry process beyond that there will be so much of the big data available so from that what full of the results only you are going to filter it and you are going to implement it that is the role of the augmented intelligence and another is augmented behavior another results substantial are reduced type of the results we are going to put into the archive component so likewise this is the role of the uh, value loop so how we are going to create about the value loop in terms of the industry 4.0 and next one is here what are the different about the technologies will be having you have only increase the value loop and what are the things will be happening so uh, left side it shows about the product product impact and uh, adjacent side will be having you are going to incorporate with the what are the applications like the day physical to the digital you are going to convert so cyber physical system you are going to convert into the digital media or you are going to take down some of the records or we are going to identify the, some data we are going to incorporate about the some sensors and controls will be having ics industrial control system you are going to incorporate it and we are going to take another you know, variable sensors then second third one is augmented reality and second stage is coming under digitalization so here what will be happen signal aggregation optimization and prediction visualization of the pou delivery pou means point of point, uh, point of delivery something like that way so uh, point of scope something we will be having and further slides you are going to discuss visualization you are going to improve and where you are going to put in a delivery so starting point and end point should be in a map in a manner and finally we'll be having the cognitive and high performance computing will be required according to the digitalization parameter then finally there will be the third stage digital to physical means so these are the some of the classical examples with us additive manufacturing advanced materials autonomous robotics digital design and simulations will be make up so here when the business objectives so according to you are going to incorporate if you are going to incorporate with the industry 4.0 what are the things happening in our business operations so productivity improvements available risk reduction will be having at what way will be the risk reductions ensure about the raw material so what will happen there will be the chain or consumption cycle clearly you are going to maintain it so consumption cycle clearly maintain it means according to the consumption rate of the raw material we are going to order it so likewise you are going to maintain the stock and apart from that we are going to maintain about the jit just in time and uh, this also is a very old concepts now according to the tier 1 tier 2 level of the industry there will be make up of the jis concepts so jis means just in sequences you are going to maintain that one due to the industry 4.0 only maybe it is achievable otherwise we don't have any tightly coupled of the schedule and we don't know about the visibility then that risk reduction will be it will be on the question mark so next one is managing warranty and recalls effectively so if you want the rework or something will happen means you are going to create about the log so create about the malfunction of the log all alarm signals will be having based on that one able to understand what is the maintenance will be required and what are the corrective measures will be taken account against that particular corrective measure they will be taken account or not so like that will be taken account about the second point then mitigating geographic risk so geography risk means what will happen in your plant will be in the three or four locations and one of the plant will be reduced about the some production due to some issues local issue will be rss then what will happen that particular messages easily pass on to the another level and we are going to work out from the home location so i will be i will be in chennai and my plant focus on to the pune pune plant will be getting disturbed disturbed and pune workload we are going to bypass on to the chennai plant so then at what way will be taken account what's the machine availability you are going to calculate so through the this it landscape or will be having our erp level of the automation available means then easily you are going to find out these other things so productivity improvements then the direct points only we are going to increase about the labor efficiency manpower uh, that is a manpower machine power material power we are going to increase so due to this one managing supply network cost of the synchronization parameter will become a picture and another one is business growth so what will happen in incremental revenue and new revenue generation also possible so this is a business growth we don't want that much of the level why because we are in a technical persons we are going to target is industry level how you are going to increase about the how you are going to increase about the industry plant floor operations and visibility like the way we are going to focus about the, that particular area so business operations so planning factory support these are the major points begin that and a business growth in terms of the products customers engineers 
so you will be the engineers accelerating innovation and the design cycle accelerating innovation and the design cycles here only so design cycles already we know very well what is the design cycles begin that from the need and analysis deployment of the component in between there will be the few stages are available we are going to conduct the literature survey and the third uh, the, the second uh, second one is we are going to develop the prototype we are going to test it if when the testing will be okay then what will happen you go for the pilot production then here what is the point of the industry 4.0 where will be come into the picture where, where in the cycle that is the design cycle drastically reduced why because we are going to introduce about the ucd process as well as hcd process you uh, that is a ucd means user centric design process hcd means human centric design process all the use that particular component they will be taken up out of the view what uh, we are going to uh, we are going to describe the component i am going to launch about this particular product what is the view of your people like that way so then we will be getting uh, some feedback and a story based scenario or scenario based design or use cases scenario so like that we will be having so many things will be happening in our industry 4.0 due to the coupling of two systems facilities along with business processing of the system like that we will be having and next one is product impact and potential of the it ot applications so here what is the meaning of the what is the role the making already existing products smarter so we are going to enrichment so already we are going to take down some of the records or we are going to monitor about the from the machinery point of view we are going to monitor temperature pressure something like that way and apart from that we are going to take a look of the vibration how many hours will be working onto the that one and another is what is the on time what is the off time so the likewise you are going to keep on increasing about the applications like that way first one is product impact then offering the data generated from smart technologies as a product as a services in your uh, industry so in any of the industry they will be in the yeah, ICS are available uh, industrial control system they will be having the different architectures are available PLC architecture SCADA architecture DCS architecture remote terminals like that we will be having these are the devices we are going to connect it through the some medium either we are going to well connected with the or we are going to deployment about the profi net profi bus and another one is some of the IEEE stand of the protocols we are going to utilize like 802.11 and serial communication these are the things that we are going to adapt and we are going to enrichment of the operations with respect to the data generation how we are going to transfer or m2m machine to machine communication like that way then you will be mentioned about the tailored data bundles for individual and end users as end user known very well what's happening in our industry like that way so that is the second point third one is developing completely new products and services so there will be the advanced manufacturing technologies so create new services formats and business models here we are going to incorporate with the some sort of the milky way of the supply chain like that we are going to introduce so next one is customer impact so due to industry 4.4 there will be some sort of the applications begin that yeah maybe experiences improve the after market experiences optimize performance and distribution is possible so maybe you know, today i'm going to order something when i'm going to reach the particular component just i'm going to log in my credentials able to know that one what is the tracking of the goods whether it be reached or not or what is the there will be some other things so uh, now we are going to operate all the automotive industries operating about the milky way of the supply chain so what is the role of the milky way of the supply chain means once car will be booked then that particular credential pass to the factory then based on the way you need is for presentation further okay further all comments like that okay so according okay. to the okay according okay. to the milky okay. way of the supply chain what is the when you are going to book the car then what is the when that particular credential pass to your industry level so here what are the variances will be required i am going i am willing to purchase about the x car and x color then what are the variances will be required so for example music system will be required or not airbag will be required or not so these are the variances given by the customer so then what will happen these are the variances put into the inner plant floor area or plant floor man managers they will be designed at what rate will be we are going to calculate how many cars will be required about the this color how many cars will be required about the this much of the airbag and how many uh, transformation will be required like that day so any of the car will be taken upon majority will be having majorly will be in the 44 to 45 variances are available so these are the variances uh, what will happen we are going to end user point of view our user point of view only we are going to collect the data and that particular data transfer into the in our plant floor area operations then then based on this particular demand we will be called as a demand so how many color of the car red color car red color of the car will be required and how many airbags will be required either will be the lsi dxi model 
some of the models will be required accordingly they will be worked out about the planning so when you are going to start the particular production when you are going to end of the production will be having when you are going to supply will be getting over so likewise plenty of the data will be having from the enterprises point of view according to the enterprise of the system they will be booking the order and these are the system transfer these are the information transfer into the you know plant floor area once they will be receive about the demand they will be work out what is the planning when you are going to start that particular order or when you are going to finish up the order maybe in the some of the spare parts industry they will be allocated about the batch type of the production batch number 1 they will be under components when you are going to start when will be finish up the event so whether the machinery is availability or not we are going to cross check plenty of the things to be having so like this distribution will be having the optimization will be coming to the picture so will be the uh, engineering impact according to the industry 4.0 there will be the reduced idea to market time that drastically that consumption uh, the design criteria or deployment of the product chain or uh, development cycle will be drastically reduced with this particular area so we are going to incorporate with 4.0 then we are going to reduce about the time so next one is better link design to product intelligence so why because ucd process due to the ucd process our supply implic implication will be come to picture our option based on the manufacturability it will be increased about the link design like the base third one is it will be the overall effectiveness will be increased why because we are going to see that one virtual simulation through the interactive screen be able to watch what happening like this way so next level is coming under planning impact so demand sensing planning is very easy manner supply planning and supply transformation will be very good manner outbound network optimization very good manner so these are the consolidation of the results are available so within this we are going to move to the industry 4.0 what is happening in our real strategy or otherwise simply i am going to talk about the ics system what are the things are happening like the so here due to the impact of the industry 4.0 enhancing of the labor productivity effectiveness will be improved about the production asset intelligence so uh, intelligence means what even what are the component what are the machinery sir coming under ideal and what are the detecting of the defects or mal functioning or uh, alarms they will be having and safety conditions they will be pop up so likewise these are things happening with the asset intelligence then anomaly synchronization and flow so there may be any bottleneck movement will be arises or not and production process and virtual build uh, built about the simulation we are going to maximize about the effectiveness of the engineering changes so you know production for of the area so these are the things happening with the synchronization and the flow so in synchronization along with our facility system and business processing of the system is possible then another one is what is the support will be required so you will be in the aiding productivity and quality field of the repair so see what i see like the day so easily you are going to understand predicting part product services failure so yeah, that is also possible according to the plm product life cycle management then another one is timely accurate effective manner we are going to develop and it will be shown about the some sort of the examples begin that network allocation optimize spare parts inventory mix and 3d print and spare parts of the tools this is some of the classical examples begin that then just now we are going to enter into the digital control system or we can say that industrial control system industrial control system is one of the backbone of the industry 4.0 so industrial control system so here we are going to utilize about the so much of the system either you are going to use about the cada bcs plcs pac rtu ieds like that way so these are the devices only available in our factory floor area so industrial computer plc programmable logic controller will be called as a industrial computer why because it will be perform over it is one of the solid state device able to perform over the arithmetic logical sequential operation at very faster rate so then it will be accommodated with the input output values input input maybe input where you will be getting maybe some sensors or push button like that will be given and based on the logical sequences what kind of the output will be required or according to the set value it will be processed that one so likewise according to the industrial control system backbone of the 4.0 you are going to try to understand these are the devices here by having some of the devices are available universally universally any industry will be taken upon then when these are the machineries or these are the controllers only available any industry will be taken upon these are the controllers only available these are the controllers how we are going to interact connect with the another devices then these are the devices or these are the architecture we can say that cad architecture plc architecture remote terminal unit architecture or dcs digital sorry distributed control system of the architecture how you are going to interconnect with the 
business process of the system enterprise of the system here this particular thing should be called as a plant floor operation like the thing so go back industrial control system means it is, a, it is one of the general term it will be described described or integration of three components integration of three components like hardware second one is software third one is network connectivity you are going to provide means then you are going to try to achieve some of industry x.0 like that there you are going to keep on increasing your communication will be increased in between the machine to machine or plant to plant or otherwise industry to industry so like that will be taken up on means that is the role of the 4.4 like that there this is the core or a core agenda begin this so here there is the in the industrial control system there is the general term it is combination of or it is integration of three components one is hardware second one is software third one is network connectivity you are going to provide apart from that ics industrial control system technologies include but not a limited to the supervisory control system or data acquisition system so supervisory control and data acquisition system scada distributed control system dcs industrial automation and control systems iecs program logical control as plc programmable automation control as pac uh, remote terminal units rcu control servers they will be taken upon intelligent electronic devices ieds will be taken upon put together these are the things will be happening in our industrial area here we are going to enrichment of the these are the products or we are going to provide about the it landscape work here so here when the stand alone system means we don't have any problem we can't say that that is the role of the industry 4.0 you will be having these are the systems are coming under stand alone system it will be perform over the few operation only it's not a communication establishment so you are going to forget about so you are going to you are going to forget about network connectivity you are going to forget about the network connectivity means what happening what, what happened to the system there will be the stand alone system begin that so within the stand alone system means we don't have any useful and we can't say that industry 4.0 like this way so then here yeah, these are the systems these are the technologies ics technologies like scada iac tsc rtu plc systems you are going to interconnection should be required or you are going to put into the some sort of the middleware softwares you are going to include uh, softwares will be provide opc or uh, some of the systems or we are going to take a look some it protocols ftp http sir all are requesting to make the presentation slow okay okay so these are all are requesting to sir so further so slides available all those contents uh, okay Can professor i want to update so here what will be happen these are the things happening here will be provide about the it landscape work and it will be trigger about the 4.0 so then here we having so smart sensor technology here we are going to incorporate with the machineries stand alone devices either plc system scada system dcs system whatever may be we are going to providing about the some networking so our input output strategy then we are going to take an account here we are going to providing about the ot operational technology and we are going to install about the some middleware so we are going to provide about the some middleware then only we are going to interact about the devices then information technology it landscape work we are going to provide so then this is the role of the sensor technology with respect to the 4.0 then another one is another benefits it will be increased speed better responses from the design cycle to the deployment of the component is possible so according to the ot it technologies are merged together so there are some of the drawbacks also available so one is what will be what are the drawbacks according to the system connectivity in your plant floor operations you are going to connect it connectiv connectivity will be happening with your another system means there will be some sort of the security threat are available or some of the drawbacks are available so there will be the two or three kinds of the majorly we are going to discuss about the uh according to the plan for area operations one is targeted attacks second one is internet of things and industrial iot devices how will be suffer due to the security threats like that way so there will be the targeted attacks so uh, with respect to the ics system by attackers pose the threat or most of the nations around the automation world so entire automation world they will be try to change some of the set value so what is the meaning of the set value means i am going to operate about the motor some sweet 500 rpm like that way so instead of the attackers or intruders will be come to the picture instead of the rpm they will be change about the rps or something i am going to maintain about the 60 degree celsius instead of the 60 degree celsius they will be convert into the 60 degree fahrenheit like that way so this is called as a targeted attacks with respect to the ics system then second one is 
remotely telemetry units input changes become more capable for the local control system so by using iot internet of things and industrial iot techniques are being placed here they will be having a suffer with a lot of the security threats so here what are how you going to avoid how you going to avoid about the these are the security level or how you going to overcome that one means maybe you are going to use about the white listing of the softwares always we are going to utilize about the white listing of the softwares so a licensed version of the software packages are we are going to utilize apart from that and another is trial version and another one is crack version of the softwares we are going to avoid so then and there maybe according to the industry forum will be required about the design packages some are catia or poe or solid wax so these are the things will be required at the moment in our industry we don't have that particular software means so ready to install about the crack version of the software or black listing so black listing of the software you are going to introduce due to that one then patch of the work or the intruders will be coming to there hacking is possible so these are the possibilities begin that so that's why always we are going to utilize about the white listing of the software you are going to utilize and second one is configuration management and patch management always you are going to update we are going to purchase some of the uh, operating system we are going to purchase some of the operating system and after a month they will be launched about the some patch management so another versions they will be launched today i am going to purchase some of the licenses with respect to 4.1 or 4.2 or 4.3 like that way and next month they will be upgrade the software through this some sort of a patches work or small program or small exe they will be deliverable deliverable deliverables are available so like that we are going to increase then and there you are going to update our system so likewise also we are going to prevent about the attack third one is reduce the attack surface areas so they will be the number of the things available for, for the some of the slides indicate about the purdue model of the system what is the purdue model of the system then try to uh, try to manage what is the role of the attack surface so device level or plant level or cell level of the surface they will be the bifurcation are available according to the according to the our communication purpose we are going to install about the some of the uh, uh, some of the firewalls are we are going to introduce so that is the segmentation of the uh, segmentation of the things are possible so then here what kind of attack will be coming up there either attack is coming at plant level or device level of the attack so like this is a reduce attack surface like that there and another one is multi factor authentication either we are going to utilize about the public key or private key of the concepts according to security system we can talk about the multi factor of the authentication we having so not only we are going to just we are going to enter into the one system means that particular system only able to able to use that one so apart from that rest of the system they will be required about the another authentication will be required so here we are going to utilize about the here we are going to utilize about the number of the algorithms or key factors are we are going to utilize either public key concepts second one is private key concepts so then another one is if you are going to take an account of the ics industrial control system somewhere we are going to authentication in terms of the encryption decryption technical so we are going to utilize hash algorithms or we are going to utilize nowadays everybody spell out about the blockchain kind of things so what is the role of the blockchain we are going to implement either we are going to this particular plant floor area also we are going to implement about the blockchain concepts also or hash algorithms also we are going to use, uh, we are going to implement so due to this kind of the implementation we are going to avoid about the uh theft uh, theft in the sense will be taken account of hacking like that will be taken account so remote access require remote access to be operated control and time limited so we are going to access from the remote so we are going to permit that one and based on the need or based on the requirement we are going to give the permission after the after some time we are going to get back and we are going to detain the services like that way so this is another level then another one is control network and ics perimeters we are going to provide about the control network so there will be the bifurcation like that way zone operation purchase department and production department third one is quality department they will be maintained about the individual server so that is the role of the control network as a uh, as a production uh, production team leader i can't enter into the purchase devices as a purchase manager he, he or she can't enter into the production server so likewise there will be the some firewalls are available so that is the role so monitor traffic within the control network and ics perimeters here you are going to monitor the traffic what is the data so you will be moving so on and average you know very well what is the movement of the data this much of the kb this much of the things like that way uh, at all of sudden you will be having the tb data will be transfer uh, transferring occur means something it, it will be on the missy or uh, malfunction ready to occur so like that will be on the control network and you are going to monitor the traffic 
and another one is analyze accessing logs who are the coming to the picture and who are the access the missionaries like that day and another one is we are going to restore the golden records so we will be uh, we'll be on the good records we are going to put into the archive mode like that day so these are the things happening with the recommends for the protecting your ICS. So recommendations given uh, given the system with respect to the ICS indirectly you are going to connect it with the industry 4.0. So here we having this picture shown about the industrial control system overview of the industrial control system. So it will be the minimum layer. This is the first layer will be called as the industrial zone. So this is particular thing is coming in the industrial zone. Second layer will be called as a business crossing zone or enterprise zone. Third one is here we having demilitarized zone or industrial demilitarized zone like that way. So here all those devices here means industrial zone consists of the PLC system, SCADA system and another one is DCS system like that way we will be having. So these are the devices we are going to connect at and another one is these are the things will be called as facility system. So a facility system according to our plan for area operations will be taken account of uh, taken a part of uh, with respect to the automation level. I'm going to talk about as a, this picture. I'm going to talk about the automation level. So automation level, device level automation, machine level automation, cell level automation. Fourth one is plant level of the automation. Plant level of the automation with respect to the industrial zone of the operation up to four one. Fifth one is uh, fifth one is ERP level of the automation. We are going to take an account of the enterprises zone also. We are going to tightly coupled. These are the system through the some networking medium. So here also shown about the so many firewalls are available. And apart from that, apart from that, one of the risky parameters will be coming to the picture where you are going to get into the risky parameter. This enterprise zone connected with the internet. And these are the devices. Whereas industrial zone connected with the land connection, van connection, man connection, and rare cash ban connection only. So ban means ban means business area network. Man means metropolitan uh, uh, metropolitan area network and another is wide area network, land, local area network like that way. So here hacking will be very limited manner or that threat mechanism will be very limited manner. But here enterprise zone, whereas enterprise zone, it will be connected with the internet. So as a manufacturing area, so manufacturing area, what will happen? We don't want to maintain about the IT landscape work, data center. For example, will be taken account of the data center. We don't want to maintain about the data center. Why? Because we are going to take account of the data center, everything. Then cost of the production will be high rate and maintenance of the data data center will be very high tech. Uh, high tech will be coming to be high tech, high tech will be coming to be according to the production sector people. In connection with we are going to buy the services, pay per usage like that way. So pay per usage. So this particular terminology where will be coming to the picture according to the cloud computing scenario. So they will be provided as a third party, third party ready to provide some of the services. So data, data, we are, we are going to generate about the data, we are going to post it, just I am going to store it. So then what is the point of that one? I am going to believe about the third party. So I am going to believe about the third party and a third party only offering about the some sort of the services. Then here when the greatest question mark is coming at intruders or attack as easily come into the picture into the, this line. So in order to avoid that one, we are going to put in the some sort of a zone. This in between zone will be called as a industrial demilitarized zone are available. So here only we are going to monitor about security threats, all those things. Even though here when the riskiness will be very high rate. Why? Because you are going to believe about the third party of the network. So then third party, they will be providing about the some sort of the solutions like three kinds of the services normally will be required. One is platform as a service, software as a service and the third one is uh, so infrastructure as a service. SaaS, PaaS, IAS like that way will be required. These are the three services will be required with respect to the plan for area operations. Anyway, according to the cloud computing, these are the technologies are available. As a cloud manufacturing, we are going to connect it with the, all those devices. In, according to the industry 4.0, we are going to connect it with the, all those ICS devices and you are going to perform some of the colorful operations will be required means then you are going to buy the services like that way. So this kind of the three kinds of the services will be taken account. In the uh, first one is maybe software as a service and another one is platform as a service and uh, third one is infrastructure as a service. We are going to buy that one and we are going to make use of the interconnections over here. So please try to watch industrial zone. So there will be on the industrial zone. Second one is industrial demilitarized zone. Third one is the enterprise zone like that way. We are going to interconnect all those devices. Then only visibility we are going to increase. 
that is the motor for the industry 4.0 we are going to interconnect all those devices and the transparency we are going to increase so for example this will be on the caster one caster one will be on the plc one there what's happening here able to identify through the network medium you are going to access and another is another group of the machineries over here able to understand what's happening here means through the interactive screen able to understand and another is production supporting services what's happening able to watch so likewise you're going to integrate all those components machine to machine communication is possible and another is human machine interaction also possible so likewise you're going to develop over the I iot 4.0 like this way so according to the according to the industry 4.0 according to the industrial control system they will be on the three functions are major functions one is one is one is view function second one is monitor function third one is control functions like this way so view function means able to view that one screens so what happened in our simulation results according to this particular device pump will be on, the on and off i it will be on the we are going to activate so this is called as an interactive screen by this particular screen able to control this particular end devices also possible according to the industry 4.0 there will be the major functions are available uh, number of the functions are available until we will be on the very credentials or highly credential of the parameter only like three parameter one is view function we are going to process it monitoring it and we are going to monitor it and uh, monitoring means what it will whether we reach the value or not or according to the set value reached or not like that we will be having and third one is control functions so through the interactive screen through the hma screen able to interact with our end devices and we are going to control the functions so this is the role of the control function then industrial control system architecture what is the role here by the dcs scada and dcs once again here by the here will be connected with the number of the devices plc hmi and these are the called as a end devices so end devices like that these are the end devices up to this one will be called as a end devices these are the end devices we are going to connect it with the peripherals or peripherals are controlling of the elements like that way here by the bus type of the topologies will be taken account this is the in general manner of the control system architecture so by using this interactive screen able to control about the these are the elements either plc able to control it hma human machine interface able to control it and the entire scala system you are going to control through the some sort of a network topology then here by the plc architecture something like this these are these are things will be happening with the industrial control system architecture so under this there will be the five different architectures are available according to this is the one of the base diagram or base architectures are available apart from that there will be the different uh, layers are available so one of the layer will be the plc architecture first one second one is scada architecture third one is dcs architecture and fourth one is probably when the uh, safety functions so we are going to protect about the safety so what will be happen if will be any mal function will be arises if will be the set value 60 degrees celsius beyond that go and hit means what will be automatically turn off system will be required these are the software protocols are available according to safety functions and fourth one is safety functions architecture and finally will be on the fifth one is monitoring kind of things are possible so here having one by one we are going to discuss so here by the program logic controllers architecture so plc so before plc and after plc what will be happen and what are the scenario begin that further slides will be discussed so here according to the program logic controllers it will control some of the end devices we are going to write the program we are going to dump into the system based on the uh, based on the logical statements we are going to control about the our end devices that is the program logic controllers second one is human machine interfaces so here by the number of the screens are available through interactive screens or basic panels so this is a panel size or panel uh, discussions will be de different manner what are the things happening according to now able to understand what is the meaning of human machine interface there will be the interactive screen available we are going to give some input and based on the input and logical they will be play around that one it will be execute the output that is the role of the human machine interface just we are going to talk about the uh, interactive screen so you will be having some of the screens or examples are available so schematic basic panels comfort panels mobile panels like that day so here when the number of the keys arrangements will be different and the display size will be different and according to the usage will be different so these are the panels are available and here we are going to monitor with the pc based system machine level area what will happen run time advanced or run time professional so that kind of things also happening that man so another one is in addition so there will be the brand name is uh, cmc uh, siemens sorry siemens bin cc there will be the portal office so they will be having the uh, 
user interface very easy manner then clear configuration shared data management and uniform symbols are available then interaction between the hmi and the mmi is uh, easy for us then efficient engineering then mass data of the operation also possible integral component we have got view that when what's happening like the bay then Com uh, comprehensive library concepts also available. What are the medium? What are the components are available? Like that will be the interactive screen. And second architecture or third architecture will be called as supervisory control and data acquisition. So even the SCADA system here also will be the interactive screen. It will be connected with the devices. So even the remote substation. So remote substation here indicates about some sort of the hydraulic circuits are available. So here by some actuator, then accumulator, then PLCs like that. This is the end elements or intelligent electronic devices like that. According to the your program, it will be operate about the your actuator, either left and right, or A plus, A minus, A minus, A like that will be taken account. What is the meaning of the A plus? Extension bit takes place or retraction bit takes place according to the cylinder arrangements. So here uh, we are going to monitor such a cases or we have been taken. Here we are having the very simple representations are available according to the intelligent electronics devices. And That's second. Slow. Second one is here when the HMI and SCADA masters are available through the program it. We are going to program it and we are going to dump into the system. At that way, we are going to record about the some sort of the communication links will be required. So through the wired logics are we are going to place and another one is non-wired logics are we are going to place. Wi-Fi protocol, Wi-Fi protocols are we are going to place. So likewise, this is the role of the SCADA uh, supervisory control and the data acquisition system simply will be called as SCADA system, SCADA architecture. So these are the architecture we are going to utilize about the plan for area operation. If we'll be having, you can think of standalone system. So we don't have any this first part and second part we don't have. Just I'm going to operate. This is the logic. So here only we will be on the logic. And here somewhere we are going to write the program and you are going to dump in the program through this some medium. So these are the role. We are going to keep on increasing about the communication channels. And once one part of the time, you able to understand what's happening in circuit what's happening in the, this particular machine you're able to interact through the scada system as well as hmi system like this way this is the role of the supervisory control data acquisition architecture so uh, next one is distributed control system you're having all those connects so you'll be in the uh, layers so layers <coughs> here will be on the lower levels device level of the automation this is the devices and second one is intermediate layer we are going to provide about the, some sort of the IT landscape work will be required and another one is interactive screen they will be connected with the number of the number of the devices or number of the devices we are going to control by means of the some uh, major equipment or major uh, major computer like the bay so here what will happen according to the distributed control system here going some sort of a server here we are going to program it and we are going to through the band wide area wide area network we are going to pass the messages and the entire machine is machineries we are going to control it this is the role this architecture will be called as distributed control system and another one is safety instrumented system another architecture will be required so either standalone system or otherwise uh, uh, safety uh, safety instrumented system sis means safety instrumented system here we are going to connect it with the plcs and another is scada system and another is dcs system we are going to take an account of the some safety will be taken account if you either will be getting the some sort of a malfunctions over here how we are going to avoid at what way we are going uh, at what way we are going to reduce about the attacks attacks or uh, simply malfunctions if you get the threshold value threshold value will be very high rate then simply blown up the fuses we are going to admit the current to a one day it is capacity is coming under 12 voltage of the signal so sometime what will depend due to the some all functioning we are going to admit to the high power of the ratings so due to this high power admissions what will happen the entire devices get collapsed or accidents will be happening in order to avoid that one we are going to take an account of the some sort of the corrective measures will be taken account and accordingly we are going to plan and we are going to, uh, we are going to give the some sort of the architectural elements or we are going to arrange that one according to the final control elements logic solvers and what are the sensors we are going to provide so like that we are going to give the some circuitry operations like that that is the role of the safety instrumented system architecture then here only we are going to introduce about the purdue model for the industrial control so here yeah based on this one this is the core point or otherwise uh, year after further then and there i'm going to point out purdue model like that way so purdue model
commercial robots process control elements like the bay along with engineering workstation then operator interface like the way so through factory client we are going to connect with the end devices end devices such as sensor drivers actuators robots process we are going to connect it with connected with the stations so like that way we'll be having this is a level two level three is coming under factory talk application server factory talk directory engineering workstation remote server all those things put together will be combined together and we are going to work on to that one means that is a level three of the operation so here we are going to try to map about the our manufacturing automation cycle or levels of the automation what will happen first level is coming under device level of the automation second level is coming under machine level of the automation third one is uh, cell level of automation fourth one is plant level of the automation so put together according to the mapping process with respect to the manufacturing automation levels as well as party model means you will be in the level zero to three will be in the up to plant level of the plant level of the automation like this way and another one is apart from that one level four and five available that is the role of the enterprises security zone enterprises zone enterprises zone means here will be taken account of the business processing business processing stations are available and another one is in between here we having hacking will be very high rate that's why you're going to provide here we have one of the firewall and another one is if it's in the industrial uh, industrial zone or otherwise will be called it as manufacturing zone also we are going to provide some other firewall so hackers attention will be very less due to this one and this particular zone will be called as industrial demilitarized zone this particular layer will be called as it will be interconnect with the these two areas so manufacturing zone as well as enterprises zone like the way so here we are going to maintain about the level is coming at 3.5 so 3.5 level is nothing but industrial demilitarized zone here you are going to take an account of the some sort of the security measurements will be taken account either physical security or software securities will be taken account so like this will be in the party model for the industrial control system for the model for the industrial control system begin that apart from that apart from that uh, next one is here by the enterprise zone you know here by this is all of the for the model i was explain what are the zones are available here the enterprise zone what are the things are available it will be connected with the internet so already was explained to you what will be happening what is the threat will be coming with that it will be connected with the cloud area or cloud manufacturing or outside they will be provided about the some sort of facilities we are going to use this particular facilities into the system or otherwise we are going to take an account of uh, maybe you will be in the uh, business processing system or enterprise zone means what will happen maybe you will be taken account of the dealers so car booking dealers like that way they will be connected with the internet and that they will be collect the some of the data and post to the post into the in our enterprise zone of the data here according to our factory they will be taken account of the demand server or 
uh, according to the marketing server, they will be connected with the internet. So this particular internet only will be connected with the so many shareholders of the operation, shareholders of the operation and taken account of this one and we are going to take account of input. And according to the design process, we are going to talk about UCD process as well as HCD process like that way. According to the UCD and the HCD of the design, we are going to take account of some of the track of your card, story based with design, scenario based with design. Apart from that, what other things are available? Uh, storytelling. So these are the design processes we are going to accommodate according to the regular design process means they, uh, here only we are going to connection will be taken place. So then hackers will be more and more or attackers more and more available. This is the enterprise zone can divide into the two groups. One is enterprises network and second one is site business and logistics like that way. So level four is coming under this particular layer. So this particular layer will be called as a enterprises core. Apart from that, we are going to connect with one uh, van and in, uh, in internet like that way means we are going to say, uh, say, say that site business and logistics begin that. Then industrial demilitarized zone. So here what will happen? What are the things are happening? Here we are going to provide about the some sort of the firewalls you are going to provide. And another one is apart from that, we are going to introduce about the some sort of the security level of the program or monitoring of the programs are we are going to utilize. Either we are going to use, utilize about the uh, honeybee algorithm and another one is cuckoo algorithm like that we are going to utilize. So these are the algorithms. What it the suggestion means some of the intruders will be coming to the picture means they will be given the indication. So indication or it goes to attempt to the uh, safe conditions. So like that way, this is the role of the industrial demilitarized zone like that way. And another one is manufacturing zone consists of the operations. Level zero, some process, building process, filling process. Then another one is we are going to monitor it or uh, some of the quality control departments, they have shown over the slides or otherwise some uh, analysis will be goes on. So these are the process level is coming at level zero. Level one, basic controls, we are going to monitor it. So either we are going to on and off controller or based on the temperature, we are going to provide some sort of a control system over here. That is a basic control. And second level is coming there, supervisory control system, data acquisition, and we are going to install about these some sort of the middle layers, and we are going to work on to that one. So there is a supervisory control. Level three is coming there, site operations. The entire thing we are going to control by the machineries, or we are going to control by through the system or computing system like the way so these are the levels according to the industrial zone or manufacturing zone it is considered the three levels are available level zero process level one basic control level two is coming at area supervisory control level three site operation what is the necessity over here what is the what is the necessity behind that industry 4.0 we are going to automate the entire thing we are going to automate this entire thing we are going to crop it with the, some sensor transducer and a machine to machine communication we are going to establishment take an account and we are going to provide about the some sort of firewalls or industrial core agents will be taken account. This is the role of the manufacturing zones of the operation. And what are the different type of the communication protocols are we are going to utilize? Where you are going to utilize about the number of the communication protocols are you are going to utilize according to the network interface. These are the protocols are we are going to utilize. Serial line interface of the protocol, point to point protocol. Then another one is if you are going to take an account of the internet, IP, IPv4, IPv6 kind of the protocols are we are going to utilize. Transport layer. So transport layer of the operations will be required means user data datagram protocol, UDP protocols you can utilize and transmission control protocols that we are going to utilize. And another is application layer you are going to develop means. So these are the some of the protocols that you are going to utilize. FTP, Telnet, file transfer protocol and Telnet. These are the various kind of the application area networks we are going to utilize. Then according to the process automation protocols. So normally in our industry area, we are going to try to increase about the industry 4.0 or some of the things means we are going to incorporate that. These are the protocols we are going to utilize. So Propinet, CAN, Modbus, these are the basic things. We are going to connect it with the devices, device level of the automation means Modbus will be required. So Modbus also, three variants are, four variants are available. Modbus, Modbus TCP, IP, then Modbus Plus like the way. So there will be three things are available, Propinet, Profibus. So Profinet means device level of the connections available. Profibus means secondary layer. So secondary layer of the things will be taken account. So Ethernet, DNP. So these are the uh, universally, universally we are going to utilize about the, these are the communication protocols that we are going to utilize while you are going to convert into the industry 4.4. We are going to try to attempt about the industry 4.4 means we are going to use these are the protocols. So here by the OPC stand of the protocols also we are going to utilize. So OPC standards means here we be having Open source, this is, a, is one of the open source only, and here when the object enable and linking, enabling, linking and enabling is possible through the object interfaces and the type of the libraries. 
uh, libraries, com interfaces, com class like that they com database. So they will be in the uh, these are the some of the things will be happening. So OLE and com these are the uh, these are the protocols are we are going to utilize. And another is building automation protocols. How we are going to increase about our automation protocols? We are going to use that for means we are going to providing about the this kind of the IT landscape or we will be required or internally they will be connected with the wiring diagrams will be required or we are going to implement about the some sort of the sensors or data acquisition elements we are going to utilize or virtual uh, virtual instruments we are going to utilize and by using these are the things able to build about the automation protocols then automate meter reading protocols then when the devices will be somewhere so your devices will be somewhere or according to the here this picture shown about the some sort of the electrical management kind of things are possible. I am going to read out the some uh, what 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 happened in your consumption rate of the energy like the way. So through advanced metering and control computer, they will be pass the message. Based on the pass the message, there will be some sort of the router or some of the uh, configuration of the system only well. Wi-Fi protocols of the machineries we are going to install it, and once they'll be getting the request, it will be delivered about the some results over here. That particular results through the through the Wi-Fi protocols are available. The transformation will be occur like this way. This are of the advanced metering and regional collector like that way. So then apart from that one, what are the industry 4.0? They are going to utilize about the number of the communication protocols you are going to utilize. So if you can if you can here, what are the zones are available? This is this entire zone will be entire zone will be called as a manufacturing zone or industrial zone. Here, this particular thing will be called as a business processing stations or business processing center or enterprise zone like that way. Here, some of the protocols or communication protocols will be mentioned with respect to the enterprises thing. And here will be connected with the some sort of a communication protocols like Modbus, Profinet, Ethernet, Profibus, DeviceNet, ControlNet, Modbus like that way or revised type of the Modbus like that way will be having. So these are the components are available with respect to the manufacturing zone or industrial zone. Then here we'll be having enterprise zone of the operations like that day. Then what are the communication protocols you are going to use about the enterprise zone? Normally, here we'll be having the hacking is heavily will be having here TCP IP protocols or HTTP kind of the protocols that we are going to utilize. And second one is if you'll be in the industrial zone, then you are going to utilize about the Ethernet and Profinet, Profibus kind of mod bus kind of things are we are going to utilize. These are the communication protocols we are going to utilize about the industrial zone, then try to convert about the so these are the communication protocols in which about the your industry floor area. Then only we are going to attain about the industry 4.0 like that way. So here, according to the industrial control system history, what will be happen? Here in inheritance. So if you go on the water, the attacks will be coming to the picture. So Profinet, Ethernet, common industrial protocol, Ethernet, mod bus. So here, here most probably we are going to utilize. These are the communication protocols that we are going to utilize. And through these particular devices, or we are going to implement these are the devices means so attackers at what way will be coming to the picture like that way. So here it shows about the industrial control system history. So before before identification of the PLC, before identification of the PLC, in this picture shows about the some sort of the electrical circuit or electronic circuit like that way. It is combination of the electrical and electronics will be having. And if you are going to change this some automation. Initially, they'll be fixed about the some automation sequences. We are going to ready to change some of the automation sequences means we are going to manually, we are going to change about these are the wires and connections hardware. We are going to change that one, then only we are going to achieve that one. So that is the role of the before identification of the PLC. After identification of the PLC, we don't have any hardware. Hardware adjustments, it's not there. So simply you're going to write the program and you're going to dump into the PLC. That PLC energizes about the according to the new conditions. So in our before PLC, what will be happened? We are going to attempt, we are going to change about the circuit design. Our circuit input output strategy, we are going to varying. Based on that only we are having the industrial control system history behind that. Before PLC and after PLC, what will be happened? That is the story behind that. So here already I was discussed with you what are the communication protocols are we are going to utilize. According to the communication protocols, here we'll be having Modbus. So Modbus also is coming in seven layers of the operation OSI, seven layer of the model are available. By using Modbus, able to connect about the physical layer, able to connect about the data link layer, able to connect about the network layer, able to connect about the transport layer and application layer. So variances are available. If I'm going to connect about the physical layer, then they'll be using about the uh, serial communication like RS232 pro uh, protocols are going to be utilized and another is RS4.0 
485 protocols are we are going to utilize and second one is we are going to provide about the data link layer at the moment we are going to utilize about the modbus with the help of the master and slave arrangement our client server architecture will be having here we are going to utilize or we are going to deploy the status about the communication protocol ethernet 802.3 there will be the standard of the protocols we are going to utilize then network layer means here, uh, internet of the protocol we are going to utilize tcp ip layers transport layer is possible and modbus on tcp and application layer will be the application layer of the things so by using modbus able to able to control these are the various operation physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer and application layer is possible and here what is the packeting i'm going to transfer the data from machine to machine what are the code will be generated so program data unit consists of function code data one two three like that way like that will be the serial communication be happening up, up to data n this is the role first one and here by the what is the function code you are going to give you are going to press zero one means then you'll be getting the read coil status i'm going to give function code code as a 24 then read the before q like that way so likewise you are going to choose the operation based on the one transfer the data is possible based on the function code then according to the packet frame what will be happen you'll be going to mention the address where you want to send the data like that way address function code data error check whether we reach all those data data or not then error check some also available so here being the some of the another framework will be having so here being the uh, here being the some of the application data unit application data unit adu along with program data units also available then here being the frame packet packet frame will be starting up here you are going to mention about the address function code what kind of the actions will be taken account whether the read the coil or write the uh, write the event or read the input or write the in, uh, output like that will be taken up on a function code based on the i based on the selection then you're going to transfer the data data from one to n like the day so these are the packet packet frame consists of and another one is another level so we are going to incorporate with about the error checksum mod bus plus like that will be taken up on means you'll be in the various of the structure depending on the communication layer or medium where you're going to utilize there'll be the uh, error checksums also available up to this one we are going to identify the slave address then whether all the data will be received or not we are going to check with the help of the error checksum is possible then here you are going to use about the modbus application so modbus application is nothing but mb ap we are going to utilize accordingly we are going to generate about the packet frame then you will be according to mbpp yeah, mb ap modbus application means you will be the protocol like this way transaction id protocol id length of the unit unit id like the way then finally when the program data unit what are things happening function code data start and data count will be taken account like that you are going to transfer the data from one location to another location then capacity also here will be mentioned in it transaction id consists of two bytes protocol id will be in the two uh, two bytes then length of the uh, length of the data will be in the two bytes each and every blocks then unit id will be in the one byte like that way so and another one is how we are going to modbus protocol transaction will be happening so what what, what way yeah, uh, what way enrichment will be taken account? At what are the ways to be enrichment the data means as a client and server architecture will be taken account. So suppose when the sender and receiver, sender and receiver, there will be the two machines are available. One machine acts as a sender and another machine will be called as a serve uh, receiver. So sender and receiver are master and slave or client server architecture. And those many names are available. So according to master, they will be sent the data means initially they will be created about the request. So whether I'm going to send the data or not, or these are the establishment of the network will be called as handshake mode of the signals. So I'm going to initiate about the data transferring, whether it will be free or not. So like that, we are going to establishment the network, whether these are the actions will be called as handshake mode of the signals like the day. So first master initiate the request and another is slave perform the action. So based on that strategy, whether it will be free of the slave, then ready to accept that request, or they'll be put in a hold condition like that way. Uh, hold or waiting, uh, hold or wait conditions will be displayed. So once will be wait display trigger into the on on site or uh, access to the access to the data means then we are going to interaction will be takes place according to the master and slave. So initiate the request, send a function code or data request, and here we perform the logical whether you are going to accept the data or reject the data between the server uh, uh, server establishment. So nowadays easily you're going to understand. So if you're going to send the file from one mobile to another mobile by using the share chat, what will happen? 
we are going to identify the devices and pairing of the devices are available once pairing is completed then data transfer will be occur that is a example for us so there is a master and slave arrangements once will be uh, authentication will be over or authorization will be coming to the picture of the master then they'll be ready to send the data like this will be having perform as actions initiate the responses send function code and another one is data response will be having we are going to receive response also possible so here going according to the mod bus data tables what is the address modes are available according to the register range then the discrete input we are going to mention about the, this particular register kyl this particular range the input register here going mention about some of the range holding register then we on the range so we are going to maintain about the range of the things so then only communication establishment will become a picture so according to the according to the uh, mod bus bar you are going to place according to this architecture so the, this is the industrial architecture this particular place according to the device level of the op, uh, device level of the communication either on the vertical side so vertical side we are going to implement on the mod bus and the horizontal side there you are going to place about the mod bus so here we are going to place about the mod bus rtu over rs 435 rs 235 these are the techniques are we are going to utilize here you are going to utilize about the some other technologies are we are going to utilize so tcp ip protocols are we are going to utilize uh, the, the internet protocols kind of things are we going to utilize here you are going to utilize about the serial communication here you are going to utilize about the uh, internet of the protocols here will be on the inter, uh, vertical integration it shows like this way here we are going to show about the horizontal integration this is the role of the modbus within the industrial network architecture available and another one is profinet so profinet also will be in the two many variants are available version 1 they'll indicate about the 2001 version 2 will be in the 2004 version 3 will be in the 2005 so here how many layers are available you'll be in the year year from ethernet of the physical layer to the standard data available apart from that here when so many layers are available version 2 what will be when it be it will be converted into the single unit we are going to develop about the some sort of the software we are going to avoid these two protocols and third one is version 3 what will be when we are going to software bring into the system iso synchronous of the rt will be having and we are going to establish about the real time data so according to 2001 then the plenty of the steps are available and we are going to capture the real data means so these are the steps you are going to follow that one but according to the 2005 they will be having the we are going to put in the devices and you are going to directly you are going to install about the real time we don't want any of the software so automatically inbuilt of the software are available so here this transport layer and network layer based on the versions we are going to rearrange within the system or outside the system like this way this is all the profinet so here when what kind of a profinet what are the different type of the back end protocols you are going to utilize you are going to introduce about the profinet what kind of back end protocols you are going to utilize means there will be the establishment connections will be taken account according to the handshake mode of the signals opc client and server then transaction will become the picture then request you are going to give to the opc object then we are going to receive the values so likewise the transaction will be taken place so due to that one we are going to increase about the plan floor visibility so we are going to tightly coupled of the system through the mod bus trophy bus kind of things able to understand you are going to clearly then visibility you are going to increase so according to the client and server architecture what are the roles play over here so according to the opc client server communications what is the first one is we are going to send the some signal i want to connect opc server then they will be assigned about the some sort of a port so here there will be the port number is 135 tcp ip protocol send and another one is opc server 10.1.12 is given the some other port tcp 5000 like that way then once again try to establish about the network connect to opc server through the this terminologies 135 further you are going to connect it with the this 5000 area then once again send the signal to the uh, accepted signal then create about the opc instances so they up to 1 to 6 so up to 1 6 sorry uh, 1 to 6 there will be the establishment network will be having and finally it will be triggered merge with the 7 8 9 the la, protocol that is a data transformation will occur so here we can see that that uh, number it will be changed so here allocation is 5000 they will be given the request and based on the request the handshake mode of the signals will be transferred once succeed about the handshake of the mode of the signal it automatically connected with the 5000 of the port 
port number is 5000 will be connected and another one is here is my data request sent to that one and establishment taken account data transfer will be occur this is the role of the opc client server communication so first one is we are going to drop the some commands i want to connect the opc server like that way then they'll be uh, as as per server they'll be given the some number of the port three four four they'll be assigned and free port of the things will be uh, establishment based on the handshake of the mode signal once and and handshake of the handshake of the mode signals will be getting over then you are going to tightly couple of the system then data transformation will be occur so if you find the end of the signal or all those data will be completed means then pass to the opc client once again pass to the end of conversation evoc signals you are going to pass evoc means end of conversation first one is here will be called as evos uh, start sos kind of things start of the operation or starting of the things like that will be taken account here we are going to talk on account of uh, taken account of end of the operation like that day so these are the things happening so here according to this particular network opc network where you are going to place here going according to the supervisory network as well as control system of the network will be taken account here i'm going to enlarge the about the picture so what are the communications will be proceed so due to this one also so due to this one also we are going to increase about the uh, increase about the visibility of the system or plan for operations so likewise you are going to stay uh, stating stepping stone of the stepping stone of the industry 4.0 so here by the inter that will be the inter control center communication protocols how we are going to use that one you are going to send the request and check the bilateral table validates the permissions so whether you are going to give the give one or not like that day then return the responses based on that one you are going to create about the communication protocols so these are the things where you are going to place there will be the iccp the iccp network or industrial network architectures we are going to provide like that day this is a region one thing and second region like this way so here will be the ethernet cable ethernet with the field bus we are going to connect the devices and here will be we are going to use about the some sort of the communication protocols wifi wifi protocol something like they, like that they will be doing. this one of the cps system like that they will be taken account or you are going to consider this one of the cps system here will be the another cps system available cps to cps are we are going to connect by using the some sort of the wired protocol or otherwise we are going to use about the wireless protocol like this way we are going to enrichment of the communication so here will be having we are going to identify the risk assessments while you are going to connect the devices at what way we are going to calculate about the riskiness so by using this formula here will be all those standard tables are available severity criticality likelihood impact so these are the table values will be taken account suppose i'm going to take an account of the plc what is the severity rate i'm going to use about the scatter system what's the rate and another one is if you are going to use about the dcs system then based on the table value you are going to take an account and we are going to calculate about the riskiness of the value and based on based on this riskiness of the value we are going to identify about the firewalls and security measurements will be taken account so here this is the role of the system under consideration suc is nothing but system and consideration like that they will be having so uh, system under consideration means at what kind of the equipment you are going to uh, provide or according to the firewall how many things will be required what are the layers of the operations will be required so like this will be having the risk assessment of the mechanisms so here by the threat event threat sources threat vector vulnerability and target so where by the target target is nothing but where device level of the target or enterprise zone or demilitarized zone like that day so these are the things happening with the risk assessment so here upon you please uh, try to go through this formula there will be the severity criticality likelihood impact so these are the things how you are going to calculate based on the table value based on the table value we are going to calculate here by having severity is calculated in range of the scale is coming under 0 to 10 so here by the common vulnerability scoring system available so there will be the national security system they will be develop the table and we are going to choose an about the 0 to 10 value based on the uh, based on the based on the equipment what kind of the equipment you are going to utilize and a criticality there will be the number in between 1 to 5 scales you are going to use that one then based on that one suc value so based on the suc value means so what is the meaning of the suc value system under consideration should be taken account there will be the value in between uh, 1 to 5 likelihood they will be taken account of the reflecting index or will be taken account of the uh, vulnerability successfully exploited of the particular system there will be another table it will be indicates about the 1 to 5 then you are going to take an account of the uh, uh, factor and another one is here you are going to take an account of the impact it will be indicates about the 1 to 5 of the results then finally you are going to apply the formula and you will be getting the sum number so this particular number indicates about the riskiness about that particular architecture 
so it will be denoted by the architecture riskiness i am going to use about the x y z of combination of the goods then what happening about the risk parameter so like this you are going to calculate about the severity critical compact like the day so here what will happen targets so here we having identification system characterization asset identification system vulnerability identification threat modeling risk calculation mitigation so here we are going to employment the status about the uh, uh, 4.0 here identification of the identification of the potential target by using the ide asset identification what kind of the device level attack will be come to picture or here according to the second stage will be the threat vectors likelihood or consequences what will happen what is the uh, what, what are the accidents will be come to picture like that will be taken account and third one is potential impact according to the risk calculation what kind of the mitigation will be taken account or corrective measures will be taken account like that we are going to design so here by the one of the examples begin that according to the year boiler boiler we are going to utilize, uh, utilize about the plc best that will be the manufacturing company we are going to utilize here normally what kind of the vulnerability attacks will be come to the picture this is the attack number or attack uh, attack like this way so here what kind of the attack will be having denial of the services so dos attack will be come to the picture threat vector will be called as ics network industrial control system network will be avoid then another is here attacker name so attacker name or type of the attacker will be the insider the insider insider means inside the industry stakeholders of the operation stakeholders of operation only attack this particular values whether i'm going to use about the siemens s7 and 400 means we don't have any vulnerability but credentials disclose disclosure maybe it'll be on the same subnet computer system there will be the hacking inside the hacking is possible so plc if it'll be on the standalone system we don't have any hacking process so if you will be connected with the, some of the devices, they will be coming into the picture of hacking. So another one is, if you find the uh, WS under best, they will be in the, these are the things will be affected. So threat vectors will be coming into the picture, what is the threat sources? And if you are going to use about the Windows, this particular service pack, then van and the insider, insider will be happening. So engineering workstation, probably when the remote access, mobile devices, sub same subnet computer system, then when the outsider will be the attack, malware or uh, middle layer of the attack will become a picture here remote access means formally will be on the inside or the attack are available according to the industry 4.0 so you'll be having boiler plc best so what kind of the attacks are available once again they'll be repeat the same thing and apart from that threat vectors we here mentioned about the ws and at best like that they these are things and not only plc will be connected with the now some sort of the network means ban and business network means then this kind of the attacks will become a picture malware outsider nation state actor like the day so then another is based on the calculation purposes i'm going to show some of the things they will be on the one once again there will be some sort of the table values like the day so based on this table i'm going to calculate some cases like the day vulnerability severity if it was a zero to ten some of the conditions 7.5 reach and asset criticality from step one will be called as calculate as a four attack likely will be on the scaling range in between zero to five will be arise about the four Impact will be on the in between 0 to 5, 3 point will be, will be come to the picture. So, and the average score is coming at a 0 to 10 scale. We are going to calculate means 7.6 will be come to the picture according to the S7400 PLC vulnerability. We are going to connect it with S7400 PLC system with our network means where risk score is coming at a 7.6. Based on that one, we are going to create about the firewalls and security measurements will be taken account. Here, what kind of the common, uh, common IT protocols found into the ICS? So these are the various type of the IT protocols are we are going to utilize uh, STP, STPS, hard ported credentials, SQL injection, cross site scripting, broken authentication level, insecure direct object references, cross site request for uh, forgery, security misconfiguration, insecure cryptographic storage, failure to restrict URL access like that way. So these are the common IT protocols found in the ICS. Industrial control system will be in the, uh, we are going to utilize about this. These are the uh, IT information technology protocols like this way. So according to the file transfer protocol, what are the attacks will be coming to the picture means FTP server application code, hard coded credentials, FTP bounce attack, FTP brute force attack, packet capture, spoof attack, then port stealing. So these are the attack happening with the file transfer protocol. Here we are going to utilize some of the some of the IT related landscape work by using this kind of IT landscape work. These are the hacking hackings are possible. This kind of the attack will be coming to picture into the in our industry 4.0. We are going to implement about the industry 4.0 means all those devices we are going to connect it with the some sort of the communication protocol. Based on the communication protocol, we are going to attack. These are the attacks will be coming to the picture. And another is if you the telnet, we are going to use. So I'm going to use about the telnet. 
i'm going to pay i'm going to pay support this these are the consequences begin that according to the attack purposes vulnerability ftp server hard coded packets sniffing attack then reply attack like this way so address resolution protocol so address resolution protocol indicates about the mac address they are ready to change about the some sort of the mac address and uh, mac address you are going to change that means entire uh, entire system hijacked by the uh, attacker then ready to change some of the values that is the role of the arp protocol and next one is icmp echo request so internet control message protocol we are going to pass the ping speed so like that way so first one is we are going to indicate this some sort of things or according to the handshake mode of the signals we are going to pass the hello signal like that way so then this is the role of the internet control message protocol echo request uh, maybe the particular devices will be on the live or not like that way so according to party model so you know very well uh, now uh, you know very well about the what does the levels of the party model like that way so party model consists of the three major layers are available one is industry zone industry zone second one is demilitarized zone third one is uh, third one is enterprise zone like that way so a demilitarized zone uh, in uh, demilitarized zone will be called as 3.5 of the level like that way so here will be the party model as a converged point by ethernet so we are going to try to shrink about the your devices that is the role of this particular this particular uh, slides so ics party model adoption how we are going to adapt with the cpw here after i am going to mention about the cpw means you can take an account converged plant by ethernet like that they converged plant uh, plant by converged plant wide plant wide ethernet like that way so ics networks are based on the plant device level you are going to maintain about the some level and another one is plant level you are going to maintain about the another level like that way apart from that there will be the cpw uh, converged plant wide ethernet industrial network security framework we are going to develop so likewise so according to purdue enterprises reference architecture like that way levels 0 1 2 either will be on the batch control continuous control or discrete, discrete control as possible Level 3 will be on the manufacturing, operation and control, dispatching, production, detailed production, scheduling, reliability assurance are possible according to level 3. Level 4 will be on the business planning and logistics, plant production, scheduling, operational management, etc. Our enterprises of the event management will be coming to the picture. So this is the role of the enterprises reference architecture. So here once again, we are going to map with the party model. What are things will be happening? Here we are having, what, what are things happening in our cell area 1, cell area 2, cell area 3, then another one is another middle layer. So middle layer or plant layer, what are the things happening? And another one is demilitarized zone. Industrial demilitarized zone, what are the firewalls happening? And another one is here the enterprise zone, what are things will be happening like that they will be they taken account. Here we are going to install about this some sort of server packages like that they network server and security services, AV server, patch management, active, active standby equipments like that they so these are the things how we are going to decide means based on the risk level already we have shown about this some sort of formula and based on the table value we are going to calculate about the riskiness and based on the riskiness we are going to alert the devices like this way this is the role of the converged plant by enterprises so we are having enterprise zone consists of the enterprise network will be called as a level 5 site business planning and logistics will be on the level 4 dream interest zone level is 3.5 manufacturing zone will be on the three layers so what is cell area zone safety zone like the way so it will be on the level 0 1 2 3 level will be having safety zone we don't have any other level substantial level will be you be the must so we can't escape from the safety zone of the operation any of the devices if you are the stand alone device or network connections of the devices safety zone defaultly you going to maintain it so that's why i didn't mention about the any of the level over here so rest of the things is not mandatory there will be the optional we are going to increase about the facilities and zones so that's why they'll be having the number between zero to five are available then another one is safety zone what are things are happening so maybe we are going to put in the some sort of the uh sensors or otherwise uh busting actions if you can the uh, pressure relief balls for example here we'll be having the some sort of the hydraulic circuits or pneumatic circuits are available and another one is if you can the storage tank what is happen and what is the level indicators are possible if will be treat uh reach about the certain level or according to the set point means automatically discharge will be discharge line will be open it and discharge will be happening and the pump will be automatically turn off when it will be reach the maximum level and pressurizer what will happen certain pressure they'll be having the limit five bar pressure or six bar pressure will be having apart from that one means 
pressure pressure relief valve will be happening so these are the things happening and controlled by the by means of the safety zone of the operation and the next one is cell area zone so here we what are the cell area what are the devices you are going to utilize it will be on the safety io with respect to the plc fuses like that they are going to utilize HMI, IES devices we are going to utilize and according to the automatic triggering we are going to utilize this like the way. So here these are the things are happening with the cell or area zone. Then industrial demilitarized zone, what are the firewalls you are going to provide or what they are going to design the firewall based on the riskiness of the factor or based on the risk, riskiness factor out of 10 point scale we are going to calculate based on the 10 point scale we are going to assign the parameter like this way. Then, based on our scaling parameter, we are going to introduce about the all those patch parts or networks like this way. So, we are initially, initially, you can compare with the very old Pudgy model. I didn't mention any of the things. Internal linkages we don't have. But over a period, what will happen? We are going to convert it in terms of the industry 4.0 means we are going to bring all those connections and we are going to maintain about the security layers of the operations. So, anyway, uh, end of the class, I'm going to show that one, our end of, end of the seminar. I am going to show about the first picture. So here we don't have any connections. Just like that, then when the, all those things are coming under standalone system. After that, they will be included about the all those patches and services like this day. Then another is defense depth model you are going to utilize. According to the security purposes, device, device security, application security, computer security, network security, physical security, and policies, policies, procedures, and awareness we are going to create. And another one is physical layer of the security means what is different. We are going to provide about the CCTV camera, something like that. We are going to monitor who are the coming to the picture. That is a physical ICS, physical IC, industrial control system security. We are going to install about the CCTV camera and who are the using that particular devices like that. You are going to monitor it. And secondary criteria things means unwanted ports. We are going to lock this way, uh, lock this way, or otherwise you are going to rotate the front. So we don't want given the free space. And attackers are intruders, internal stakeholders of the attacker. What will happen? Just slightly, we are going to insert the cable and enable the enable the values, and we are going to ready to change about the some sort of the functions, or it will be created about the more functions. So here we are going to the physical security, unwanted ports. We are going to close like this way, and we are going to twisting like this way, or uh, to remove the plug from the jack, insert the tool into the device, and rotate the clockwise. 180 degree then the internal component you are going to remove from the device then connection is not there if you are going to provide about the usb kind of things means you are going to provide about the usb arrestor based on the hardware lock you are going to give the band or otherwise you are going to provide about the software lock also possible and another one is according to the network schema these are the ports are you are going to deactivate it. and some of the devices hardware components you are going to introduce whenever i am going to try to remove that one means then you will be getting the indications something will be happening or something goes on wrong conditions like that way so these are the things happening within the ics security level then you the network level so next one is demilitarized zone according to the party model demilitarized zone or plant layer what is happen we are going to provide about the http, HTTP protocol file transfer protocol or higher end of the protocols that we are going to place then they will be having the, some sort of the security level you are going to take account of the measurements so a secure network architecture security framework intrusion detection prevention by means of the, some sort of algorithms network access controls and management will be taken account monitoring based on the logging conditions so here we are going to use about the public key concept and another one is private key concepts you are going to utilize. Simply, I'm going to control the device means what will be open. I'm going to set the password. That particular password, what will be open? I'll be known very well. Then I'm going to open and work on to the brand. That is a public or we are going to assign something. Private means what will be open? We don't want to disclose about the any kind of things. Whenever I'm going to open that brand, then automatically indicate about the some passwords or additional devices with me. Additional devices with me available, then that particular device normally random number will be generated every one minute or two minutes they will be generated about the random number that particular random number you are going to give that one means then only will be the application will be enabled it. or simply where i am going to uh, by understanding purpose i am going to quote it with some example according to the bank transaction we are going to give the some bank transaction means or uh, that clerk or cashier they will be authenticate the transaction transaction by means of the biometric device each and every transaction authenticated by the biometric, then only that particular action should be completed. So likewise, we are going to take an account of the network security level. Then computer security, here will be having the patch management. Under this, here will be having one of the point is fifth point will be the very, very important one for us. 
application white listing software always you are going to utilize about the white linking white listing of the software we are going to avoid about the black listing of the software or uh, or what will happen crack version of the software you are going to avoid so unwanted applications we don't want to include about the your system so these are the some of the things will be happening and another one is according to the first one is patch management so what is the role of the patch management means addition of the program additional level of the program you are going to give one initially they will be buy the something so for example 5.0 some versions of the software was purchased after one week they will be ready to launch about the 5.1 so 5.0 5.1 we don't have any that kind of the differences some differences are available in terms of the security level or application or uh, ergonomics point of view they will be happening something so we are going to then and there will be having the patch management are available means we are going to ready to accept that one and you are going to implement that into the in your package Yes. So that is the role of the patch management. Then we are going to provide about the malware software, anti uh, antivirus software. We are going to use that brand. So these are the things happening with the ICS with respect to the computer security. So this is also very uh, very much required about the industry 4.0. So industry 4.0 means please try to understand. We are going to there will be the numerous of the devices are available. This particular devices are this particular machineries. We are going to connection will be taken place by means of the communication protocol, and there will be the communication protocol will be enriches by means of the business area network. That business area network will be either connected with the internet operation or internet of the operations are available. Then hacking will be coming to picture. Then what part are the ways you are going to safeguard the system? These are the things happening within our industry 4.0. Then at last will be having application security. So there will be the what are the things are available? Application security, application security testing. application patching work and software life cycle management with respect to the security level what are the operations will be having so then uh, here by uh, forgot to include about the diagram so one of the diagram indicates about the software life cycle management so according to the security level if will be the threat mechanism are available means and at what way you are going to improve that one and how you are going to given that one so these are the things happening with the i uh, device security industrial control system device security like the way here also we have the device uh, device ordering then patch management ics device life cycle configuration change management and finally we have the monitoring and logging is possible so these are the things happening with our industry 4.0 So we are going to convert into the smart factory means these are the establishment of the work will be required. We are going to try to accommodate about the CPS level of the machineries and these are the CPS machineries will be having the uh, will be having stand alone system means we don't have any of the useless and we are going to try to connect about the machine to machine communications and we are going to greatly are going to explore about the visibility are going to increase it. We are going to increase about the visibility of the machineries or visibility visibility of the visibility are going to increase about the in terms of the process some of the things will be happening. So these are the things are happening with the work industry 4.0. So with this, I'm going to conclude the session. If you have any queries, I'm going to ready to answer it. So any queries? Sir, come to live. So. This is a uh, in front of the uh, our discussion is coming at a very limited manner. Will be uh, will be required at least ten hours or twelve hours will be required to yeah uh, grasp about the all those details. Any one or two queries from your side? Sister, come to line. So here I am able to see that one some of the feedbacks uh, from uh, Silvam sir very huge and large session but real informative sir like that they tell me some of the positive comments with us. Anyway, if we record about some sort of the negative comments, I am going to rectify that one. Okay. Anyway, thank you, thank you for your wonderful time with us. Uh, it is a time for word of thanks. Once again, good evening to everyone. Our industry doesn't respect tradition; it only respects innovation. I take this special occasion of opportunity to thank our resource person, Dr. Giri Raj, and our management team. Respected sir, your topic, Industry 4.0, is very recent trending platform 
get to know and learn really your session was very relevant highly potential highly informative advanced presentation to learn fast and beyond your time constraints everything shows your potential your generosity to share the contents beyond the miles dedication and commitment in your professional career i hope surely the participants would have enjoyed and benefited thank you sir for your concern for the session and valuable knowledge sharing thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thanks lot i would like to post my thanks to my management uh, secretary reverend sister dr a sitangam and principal dr aruki das for their support and encouragement to organize this webinar series i profoundly thank the head of the department dr d o murugudasan now the faculty members who are the cause for this webinar event continuous and everyday learning keeps the soul young my main thanks goes to all the participants who made this webinar a grand success thank you dear participants now the participants can get the feed particularly from live chat box for e certificate thank you one and all thank you thank you very much ma'am thank you professor professor thank you thank you sir thank you thank you very much okay sir you can log out yeah please All of us, link work again, man.